Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kevin here and uh, we're going on a gig tonight. <laughs> we're going to a high school winter dance and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I know it's been a while since I posted on my channel. So uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, we'll go on a little adventure tonight. I've got, I've got all, uh, all packed up the truck. I got this Penske rental truck. I got it loaded. Um, and uh, it should be a blast tonight. I love these kids. It's a, for a local high school. And I think there's gonna be like three or 400 kids here. And um, it should be, just be a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done a, a school dance actually. So uh, probably let's say, um, I don't know, like uh, six months actually. So it's been a minute. But anyway, I'm stoked. We're gonna have a blast. And what's fun is that uh, I got all kinds of new music to try out too, you know? It's just been, uh, it's been a minute. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it tonight. Anyway, it's a little cold here in Cincinnati in February, but uh, that's not gonna put a damper on me uh, or the kids. I'm sure we're gonna have a blast. So I can't wait to party with these students. And I'll show you guys what I'm rocking here once we get set up. All right, so I'm here at the school. Just started to unload, and actually I've got my my truck here backed up to the entrance, which is super great. I'm super glad they let me do that. Because, you know, that just cuts down on, you know, motion and carrying everything uh, further than we need to. So in any case, I'm going to go ahead and set up here. My buddy Michael is coming to help me set up and get started. And so in any case, I'll, uh, I'll be welcoming him here in a minute and uh, we'll get everything loaded into the school. Oh, a relic from 2020. <laughs> so guys, I ran into a time crunch uh, during the setup of this school event. So uh, this is me from the future and I'm just gonna talk through this um, photo. This is actually <laughs> my computer screen. I'm just gonna talk through this and uh, show you what I was rocking and then you'll see the footage from the event and you'll be able to see how it came together. Sorry about that, but um, hopefully this isn't too ganky. <laughs> um, in the middle here on this uh, little stage, I was on this like wooden, it's like bleachers, but uh, it's just condensed down. So it's like a stage for me in this big room. Um, in the middle, I'm rocking the uh, Danny Max uh, Infinity L booth. And in that I've got a DDJ 1000. I got my MacBook Pro. Um, let's see, I've got uh, oh yeah, I used the ADJ Wolf Mix or the ADJ at, uh, WMX1, and that's for controlling my lights. Um, and in, speaking of lights, you'll see I got um, a couple different things going on. Uh, up on both of my speakers here, I've got the Chauvet Wash FX Hexes, and um, I've got one on each speaker. Uh, you can see there. I also have two additional ones on gravity stands. Uh, I think you can see this one pretty good. Uh, it's just on this gravity stand back there. Uh, there's me, by the way, setting up stuff, doing cabling. Um, and then I've got, um, so those four wash effects hexes. Uh, those are great for wash effects. And I use those a lot in a lot of my events. So they're really cool. And I can control them really easily with my, um, that uh, ADJ WMX1. I'm also using um, those four movers that you see they're uh, ADJ Focus Spot 2Xs. I've got four of them all on top of these Rockville um, Glow Totems, I think they're called. Um, so those are just like those collapsible fold-up Glow Totems. And I've got four of those movers. Um, and then I have underneath those Glow Totems and also along the back wall. It's not shown in this photo, but uh, you'll see it, um, I think, in some of the shots. I have... Uh, the Ape Labs Maxis, so those um, little up lights, uh, those are super cool. And um, I also had something new that I uh, got for this year. On uh, on a big stand in the back, you'll see these two, um, they look like boxes. Um, <laughs> those are um, blinders, actually. They're um, Chave DJ Shocker Panel 480s, and they're LED blinders, and I, I think they just create such a cool effect. So I got them tied into my, of course, my uh, ADJ WMX1 for lighting control. So whenever I hit the blind blinder button, or if I hit like the wow button where all the lights go kind of crazy and start strobing and flashing white, those things fire off and they strobe. They're super bright. And you'll see some, um, I think some of the shots, like 
Uh, my uh, assistant Michael kind of went around the back and got a couple of shots from the back when that when I was firing them off. And then you can kind of see the crowd like light up. So whenever you see that everybody's really white and, you know, lit up, it's those shocker panels. And I think it's cool. You don't want to do them a lot, but um, it's been really fun to add those to the mix. Um, okay, okay. Speaker wise, uh, sound wise, I've got um, um, basically on top here, I've got these JBL SRX 815Ps. And I've got three of them. I got two on the left and right. And then because it kind of this kind of setup creates a big, almost like a vacuum of sound in the middle, because these are point source speakers and they project out. So I just have one, another one, a third one, laying on its side in front of my booth. And that creates a nice center uh center fill and also make sure that the people that are closest to me can hear the the um everything loud and clear. And um, this one I didn't put on crossover, so it's it's pumping out a little bit of bass too. But these uh, these other two that are on the left and right of the stage are on uh, are on basically um, a crossover at I think 80 hertz with these RCF subs. These are the 8003 AS2 subs and um, powered subs. These things are beasts. I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, they're they're freaking killer. So this was. 400 kids, I think, showed up. Um, this was more than enough bass for for this for this group. Um, so that I really uh, I love those guys. Any case, one other thing to tell you guys about um, in my setup, I think I got everything except this new thing. So you can kind of see on my Danny Max booth, I've got two arms on it. One with my laptop on the I guess on the right in the photo, but on the left I got another arm and it's just sitting there and looks like empty. Well, what I did was. I bought this thing right here. I got it in front of me, well, at least the box. This Akai um, MPK Mini Play. And what this thing does is it's basically like a, um, a MIDI controller and it's got some drum pads on it. It's real small. I mean, you can see from my hand, right? This is, this is pretty small. But what I wanted to do with this thing, it's uh, number one, it's battery powered and uh, what it's got its own. It's not like a it's typical MIDI controller. It's called a play, and the reason they call it that is because it's got built-in sound. So it's got um, sound fonts or samples loaded inside. So you can bring a bring up an organ and play it. Um, you can you can uh, you know basically there's drum pads here that you can play drum sounds. You can manipulate them and everything, and you can still hook this up to your um, your MIDI software on your computer, or if you use like Ableton or Logic, you can still use this to make music. But this unit has a output in the back of jack like a eighth inch out and i can plug that into my mixer <laughs> and basically what i did was um i wanted to i wanted to play a song not play a whole song you know not a whole that, that would be horrible but i wanted to start up a song and um and get it started on my little akai on my little keyboard and then like drop the beat and like pop it in so i chose paris uh by jay-z and kanye and oh my gosh i had a blast doing it it, it was kind of nerdy i don't even know if the kids picked up on what i was doing up there um and i just played like like i'd say a you know a, a bar uh, of that music but uh you know of the of the intro um but you'll see it in the video it was so fun i loved it i might do that here and there just to mess around especially at these school dances when you know you're just looking for little things to add a little flair but in any case hey guys sorry i uh so talkative about that just wanted to walk through everything that i was using here now i'll jump into the video you can see how it came together and see the footage
caught on me. You know how I like it when you love me.
working always till I land on it. Oh, I got life, I got money, I got life.
you see under oh, there? The glow sticks, the glow under, sticks there. under there. Oh yeah. Oops. Well, that was an awesome event. Uh, we had a blast at the winter dance. Um, I uh, we you know got everything loaded and uh, and now in the truck ready to go home. Wow, what a party! Uh, the students really, uh, they, they, they had a lot of energy. It was a pretty, sm it was a smaller group than uh, other school dances we've had with this with this school. Um, I think because they didn't market the dance as much uh, as they typically do, but, um, you know, they didn't sell as many tickets and that kind of thing. But the kids that did come, the students that did come, it was a blast. We had a fun, fun night. And uh, I'm sure you saw the footage. Everybody danced a bunch and we had some great moments, some key some key moments, major key moments. It was so great. So in any case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically just get home and uh, go to bed. I'm exhausted. You, you really give it your all at these uh, these dances. So in um, any case, I'm going to hit the hit the sack and then, you know, you clean up in the morning, you know, take all the stuff to storage, take the truck back and all that stuff. So in any case, thank you guys for watching my gig log and I'll see you next time.